Hi there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King here, and today I am back with another review. And so today, I will be reviewing the Carnegie Collectibles Giganotosaurus. Now, Giganotosaurus, which name means Giant Southern Lizard, is a species of giant Carcharodontosaurid dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period 97 million years ago in prehistoric Argentina. Now, this species was around 13 meters long, the height of around 4 meters, and weighed about 6 to 13 tons in weight. And this animal lived alongside the Titanosaur Andesaurus, the Rebeccasaurid Limesaurus, the Abelosaur Ecrixinatosaurus, and the Dromaeosaurid Butyraptor. I know I, go, I think you guys will say, what about Argent Argentinosaurus? Yeah, well, Argentinosaurus lived in a different formation with Mapusaurus, so... Technically, they would have, have, have met, but it, it, it doesn't matter for the time being. You know, with that, um, so let's go on to the detail of the model. Now, I have to say, this actually is probably the best Giganotosaurus model I've seen. I mean, everything about it is actually very, very well done. I mean, the head, you can see, it's beautifully detailed. You've got it's the eye there, I think the, and the ear is about there. You've got the nostril about there, you've got the lovely colours, you've got the teeth. Here yeah, is the, is the tongue as well inside the mouth. The top of the roof of the mouth is also sculpted very nicely. Go down the body, we've got the arms here with the three claws, and they are in the correct position. They're not bunny arms, which is a good thing. We've got the body here with a lot of more detail there. It's like muscle contortion. We've got the legs way down to the very bird-like feet. And we've got long, curved tail. And just so you can see some more detail. And there's no cloaca. It's a little odd. But then again, this is a 2007 model, so it probably wouldn't have had it. And you know, if you actually position this guy um, correctly, he actually stands up on his own two feet. If his legs are bent like mine, so technically, this guy is not technically a tripod. But I know that some of them can be, but. In mine stands like that. Uh, and the colours, so I love the colours. It's sort of like a, a lightish grey blue with these green bands going along the back, little dots. This lovely red and green along the head. Coloration leaves sort of like a creamy white colour. There's the feet. I actually quite like it. And you know what? This is so, so much better than that god-awful Schleich's one. Ugh. Ugh, God, I don't, I don't want to talk about that one. Yes, this is a fantastic piece of one of the largest theropods of all time. And will also go great with your other car carnosaurid models, like Acrocanthosaurus, Mapusaurus, and car carnosaurus. Sorry, we got a bit of a... Couldn't think for a second. So yeah, I would definitely regret getting this piece because he is a, just a fantastic model and one of the few Carnegie's that can actually balance on his own two feet if positioned correctly. And he actually does so on carpet, so yeah, technically. Yeah, which is actually very, very cool. And if you want, he can even hunt your Argentinosaurus or any other smaller animal that inhabited its environment. Now, many people think that Giganotosaurus might have been pack hunters, and well, they probably would have needed to when your prey was over a hundred feet long, so... It's quite possible that they hunted in packs or gangs, as some paleontologists have surmised, thanks to the remains of seven Mapusaurus discovered in one fossil site. So, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys like this review. Um, please comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. My next review should hopefully be on the Collector Megacerops model. Then after that will be the Lillian Sternus. And then hopefully I will be getting uh, the, some of the new 2015 models when they come on Everything Dinosaur, hopefully in a few weeks' time. So please take care and have a great day. Bye!